everyone, so I hope everyone has been doing well. I haven't made a video in a while. So today I am back and this time I will be working with the Louis Vuitton Bruni. And um, I just got this bag in. It's going to be a gift because um, for my sister, she said she needed a bag with structure and this bag has structure. And so um, I'm going to be dyeing this black and I'm going to attempt to keep the piping in the handles its original color. I'm just going to dye the Renee black. Um, I bought this bag. It's, it's been stained everywhere. So dyeing it black should cover all of that. Let's see. It has a little bit of peeling. Black should also cover that, though I'm sure you'll see some bumps and indents from the peeling. But basically, it's just going to be a black vernis. And I'm hoping to keep the piping and handles. It looks like it's going to be hard to um, tape off, but I will attempt it before keep, to keep it original before I resort to dyeing it so yeah i got this bag and today we will be working with a leather dye versus a leather paint um, the bag is actually in not bad condition it's clean inside except um, with most of the vernie bags you'll notice that it peels right along the edge here so i'll probably attempt to glue that down as well So yeah, the handles are actually not bad except for this one area where it seemed to have folded so it's cracked. I'm gonna try and strengthen it with glue as well. So yeah, I've already gone ahead and I've wiped it down with baby wipes. So now I'm just gonna tape off um, the handles and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. Um, I've taped off the handles completely because I didn't want to risk um, getting any dye on the handles. I tried to cover the zippers, but I found it quite difficult. So I think I'm just going to paint the zippers black to match the dye. I couldn't do the piping either. It was very hard. So I think I'm just going to dye that black as well and just keep the handles. Um, for all I know, I might end up dyeing the handle just because it look better. But for now, we'll keep the handles. And today what I'll be using is Fabian's Leather Dye. I do recommend you wear gloves, but again, I'm, I don't really like to wear gloves. So, um, black Fabian's Leather Dye. And, um, the leather dye comes with a dauber, which is awesome. I have tried using it before and it is really hard to wash off your hands so I do recommend you wear um, gloves and be careful so it doesn't spill what I'm gonna do I also got a rag just so there's no drip marks and I'm just gonna start with one side actually I'll start with the bottom so let's see how this goes I don't know how many coats will be required. Drip marks already. Now remember to um, prep your work surface because you definitely don't want any dye wrecking any furniture, whether it be tables or chairs. I'm actually just working on an ottoman. Don't wear good clothes if you're afraid you're going to wreck that as well. You know, just the basic stuff. Might 
take two coats. There we go. Oh, looks beautiful already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over with my rag. Just so there are no drip marks. Oh my goodness, I love how it turned out and it's only one coat. That looks awesome. Okay. See, it should dry pretty quick. You may need a brush to get into the creases there. to the sides so instead of keeping you guys waiting I'm just gonna go ahead and do it myself and I'll come back one moment all right guys so I'm back and I've done the first coat I think I'm gonna let it dry because it feels a little sticky so I will catch you guys another day um, the first coat you do see some streaks I don't know how clear that is, but it overall looks really good so far. I obviously wasn't listening to myself because I've already washed my hands and it is like difficult to remove. But thankfully, I'm pretty happy with the zipper. I went in with just the paintbrush and a um cardboard piece of cardboard and I went along the edge and I was able to keep the purple zipper. So I only used the paintbrush in that area and not the dauber. I'm just going to let it dry probably overnight and I'll be back. Cheers. Bye. Hey everyone, so I am back again. I had let the paint dry overnight and I tried to wipe the excess. And I realized that I had forgotten a step before I started dyeing, which is I forgot to go through the whole bag with acetone or nail polish remover. And that step, especially on vernis, is so important because the dye will not adhere. So if you see here, when I started uh, rubbing the paint, it started coming off, the dye, it started coming off. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the whole thing and put a bunch of acetone on it. It might remove this black paint, but I think it's vital, otherwise it's not sticking. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I actually opted for gloves this time because they're stuck, like the paint is stuck in my hand, so. So yeah, so I'm gonna go around with acetone and I'll show you guys how that turns out. All right, cheers. Hey everyone, so I'm back. Um, I went over this bag with nail polish three times just to ensure that I'm not missing anything. And the dye still stuck very well, but I do need maybe another coat or two because I'm not sure if you can see, but the orange is showing through here. But one thing that I forgot to mention is after, every time after you dye it, you let it sit for about 30, um, 30 minutes so it dries, and you have to go through it with the cloth to wipe off all the excess dye. Um, if you don't go and wipe off the excess dye, it will feel sticky, the dye will feel sticky, and it can transfer to clothes. So you really wanna go in there and remove any excess dye you can, and probably go over it with nail polish if you wanted to, because your vernis should not feel sticky, it should still feel like vernis. Um, yeah, but I went through it with nail polish three times just to ensure that I got everything. And any excess that might be there, 
And so now I'm ready for another coat of paint. Um, I also wanted to mention how important it is to prep your work surface because I wanted to show you this. My son was playing around me while I was dyeing it and I literally spilled half a bottle of dye and it went all over and I didn't use a garbage bag but thankfully my ottoman is black and I was using black dye so I just literally gave my ottoman a new top coat of black so work surface prep your work surface so yeah so I'm gonna do another coat of paint and I'm gonna sorry I see pooling so I'm just trying, trying to get rid of any excess pooling in in between all the Fleur de Lis and stars of the LV. So, this is how neat, how black it came out. I didn't scrub um, the excess well enough and it did feel a little sticky, but thankfully the paint was coming off so I went through it with nail polish three times so it wouldn't transfer once my sister was using it. So what I'm thinking is after I dye it, I'd probably go over it, I'd let it set overnight again and go one more coat with um, nail polish remover before I condition the leather. So yeah, off we go. No, black doesn't show very well, but you actually see it looks like it's only one layer of paint on there. There's a lot of um, spots that need to be touched up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll be back. Cheers. All right, so I just did only one coat and it's looking very good. I don't see any orange popping through. Uh, so now I'm just gonna wait for half an hour for the dye to set. And uh, we'll go from there. Looking very good, I might say. Can't wait to take the handles off and take a look and see how it turns out and whether I need to dye the handles as well. So I'll be back in half an hour. Cheers. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I ended up like scrubbing the vernis so hard because the dye actually sits in all these little indents. So sorry um, yeah so the dye sits in these little indents and no matter how many times I went through the bag with a cloth and I really I rubbed it I used so much force I kept getting dye um, on the cloth so when you paint you make sure you scrub it really hard and I'm thinking you guys shouldn't be using just a regular cotton cloth, but actually a terry, a terry cloth that will pick up a lot of things. This is after I conditioned it and um, went through it so many times, and this is how black my cloth went. So yeah, you need to like really scrub, scrub in there because the paint, the dye sits in these little things. And then after, when I finally thought that I was finished, I wanted to take off the handles. And you know, the handles look so good if it didn't seep through. So what I did was I used a dauber. And I'm guessing I used too much um, dye on the dauber and it seeped from underneath. So it went up the stitching and onto the leather. So now I'm gonna have to end up dyeing um, the leather straps as well. But if it didn't go through, the black and the Vichetta, original Vichetta color would have been perfect. So now I gotta dye um, the handles as well black. So there you have it.
black handles to come. But yeah, you really, really gotta scrub in there. Like I went over this bag many, many times and I still got um, dye on my towel. It's not transferring on my hands anymore. I just didn't want to leave any excess dye in case my sister ends up using it and she's wearing a white shirt and it just rubs and ruins her shirt. So I wanna give it in the best condition possible. So yeah. Dying vernis, really, really scrub, 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 scrub in between um, your layers. So I, I ended up like stuffing this bag to the max so I can just go in there with my palm and I just, yeah, getting, trying to get the dye out of all these little indents. So yeah. I will dye the handles and then I'll, go, I'll show you guys the finished product again. Okay. All right, so I've painted the handles. It's just a matter of letting them fully dry now. It doesn't look as nice. If um, the dye didn't see through the bachetta, uh, it would have looked a lot better with the original color. But now we have black on black. Not as sexy, but still a beautiful purse. So yeah, there you have it. I will show some final pictures. <laughs> My son's beside me. There you have it, boys and girls. All right, yeah. cheers.